hi and thank you so much for joining me today in today's video i'm going to be talking to you about the advantages of working in a care home and disadvantages of working in a care home and etc etc so this video is going to be focusing on um people who are willing to come to the uk and not sure which direction to take so i'm going to start with working as a living carer so in my view working as a living carer is brilliant in the sense that if you want to save money you get paid a lot of money because you're working day and night so a living carer is usually uh, usually goes into somebody's house and they stay with that person for a period of time so it could be that you're staying with someone from monday to friday and then you've got the weekends off or you're staying with someone for two months three months and then you get a, a week or two weeks off so this is dependent on the type of employer that you've got so what are the advantages of this the advantages as i've said is you get paid more if you're in a hurry to make a lot of money this is a brilliant way what's the other advantage the other advantage is it's just you and the person you're looking after so you're not looking after a lot of people so it's quite easier to give um, that person the attention they need compared to when you look uh, when you look after different people what are the dis disadvantages in my view the disadvantages are that you're working alone you some people could feel lonely depending on the type of person you're looking after if they're not able to talk you might feel lonely if you're working for a long period of time and not having social life uh, that might impact you as well. So I'm um, thinking you're, if you're going to do the longer period where you're not going to have weekends off, which is a really good option that many people go for, if you're having that uh, routine, it means that when there's birthdays, when there's parties, when there's weddings, you're most likely going to miss it because not everything's going to be done in a week or two that you're um, having time off. So these are my thoughts uh, for a living carer. Also, if you've got family, it's really not great. If you're single, then do go for, for a living uh, care work. Another one that I'm going to talk about is working in a care home and working in a hospital. They're, to me, they're more or less the same. Um, working in a care home and working in a hospital, you're working with other people. You're looking after more than one person. Um, the only difference between a hospital and a care home is a hospital you're looking after patients. So depending on which department you're working on or which area you're working on, you, you will be looking after different people. The only difference is that um, in a care home you're looking after elderly people and then hospital you're looking after patients. So the, uh, the advantage of working in these uh, settings are that if you are someone who's willing to learn, who's wanting to grow, this is the best place because you've got different level of um, expertise, doctors, nurses that can actually impact you and you can actually learn from them if you want to grow. And in most cases, I know that they offer um, they offer like um, there'll be a career plan, a development plan, um, and you can also take part in NVQ um, two, three, etc. So all of these opportunities are open to you. If you are a family person, this is a great place to work in because you get the option to see your family every day. Um, if you also are a social person and want to see people at the weekend, I'm not saying you're not going to work weekends, you might work some weekends, but you've got more opportunities of socialising with other people at the weekend. So this is great uh, in that setting. Um, yeah, you can grow, you can learn from other people, which is fantastic. Um, if you're working in domiciliary care, this is the last one that I'm going to talk about. Working as a domiciliary care means you're moving from one house to another house, looking after people with various needs. So what are the advantages? The advantages that you get, you might see one person 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then you move on to the other person. So you get off, you get more breaks than you would anywhere else. Um, you get in between from one person to another person's house you've got a little bit of um, a break and I think that that's really really good um, 
So what, what else is, is really good for uh, working as a domiciliary carer? You work with other people, you meet different people, you get to go to people's houses and just learn how people live uh, in the UK and also build friendships. You're not going to see just the person who needs help. It might be that you see their family members and it's a really, really um, great opportunity to build those um, relationships with other people. Um, and the fact that you also work, it's either you've got a partner or you're working with two other people, so you're not sorely going to be on your own. Some cases you might be, but some, usually you'll be paired with somebody else. Um, again, like care homes and hospital, there's an opportunity for you to be trained, um, you know, living with that, with that um, moving from one house to another with somebody who's more senior, who can actually take care of you. In terms of pay, um, if you are being employed under, um, if you are being employed under this uh, domiciliary care, you will be paid enough. It's not going to be a, an area of concern. Um, but I think I'm going to conclude this video and just leave the, the rest to you. Um, again, I think if you're a family person, this is a great, uh, great one to do and great one to, to go for. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.